Okay, welcome. I um, thought I would do a sort of in-depth um, review on this Vox Tone Lab. Uh, when I was looking to buy this thing, I was looking for a video that did this, um, but it was hard to find one that was in English that really went into what the pedal can do. Um, so that's uh, what I'm going to do now so so that some of you other guys if you're looking to buy something like this um, that you've got a good idea of what this thing does cool um, so I'm working with everything upside down just because of the way I've got the camera set up hopefully um, that's not going to upset anything but um, I'll start with the back panel on this we're going to spend most of our time up here but first we'll just have a look at what we have here, I'll turn it around the right way for you. Cool, because there's actually some cool features on here. So um, first of all, you've got speaker level. So there's some piddly little speakers in this thing that are not much good for anything really, um, unless maybe you're practicing. But if you're practicing, generally plug headphones in is much better. Um, then you've got a USB plug there. Okay, um, so if you're recording through USB or something, you might like to use that. Um, I'd suggest using a interface rather than going straight through USB, but um, sometimes just for ease of use, that's cool. Uh, this is the feature I really like. Um, the most simple thing on the back here is this little block here, right next to your power supply. Um, and there's nothing worse than being on a stage and getting your power supply kicked out of your pedal and all this block does is it allows you to wrap your cable around it so that this can't get kicked out because if that gets kicked out you lose everything all of a sudden power switch input um, this is another cool feature auxiliary in so that takes a mini jack a stereo tip ring sleeve mini jack um, and what that means is that you can plug your iPod in there or your computer um, Something you want to practice along to and you can actually play that through the pedal and then you can plug your headphones in here And you can listen to the track you're playing along with and the guitar at the same time and practice completely silently Which is an awesome feature um, And then you've got an overall level here uh, Like all good levels it's set at three quarters at the moment and then you've got this little switch here. Um, if I can get the camera to focus a bit better. Anyway, it says Vox, F, M, then Line. So that's a switch that you vary um, for what you've got it plugged into. So this pedal will actually um, change its output depending on uh, what type of amp you have it plugged into. Um, so you've got a Vox amp, F and M, which um, apparently stand for Fender and Marshall, and then Line. Um, so at the moment I've just got it on straight line. Uh, that's not normally where I use it, but today I'm running a completely clean amp just so you can hear what the pedal's doing. Um, normally I, I, I use a bit of amp as well. Uh, so the amp I have it plugged into is a PV Envoy 110 Transtube, uh, which is basically a amp that uses diodes um, and circuitry to try and emulate the sound of a tube amp um, but if you've been around a while you probably know that without a real tube you'll never get a real tube sound uh, fortunately Vox know that as well and in here you've got a real tube okay so there's a vacuum tube in there uh, which is pretty cool. Um, this pedal operates basically in two modes um, that you can select from. So uh, the first mode is stomp box mode. Okay, so um, in stomp box mode, it's going to operate as if you had separate stomp boxes on a pedal board. Okay, um, you could use this in conjunction with other pedals if you wanted to. You could have it as part of a pedal board. Um, and then you could still use it in either mode basically um, But when it starts up it starts up in program select mode, so we're going to look at that one second um, First of all, we'll have a look at stomp box mode So the way to change it over is to take your up and down bank and press them both together Which is of course easier to do with your foot and over here we change over to ST 
um, we're now in stomp box mode so each one of these pedals is now going to turn off and off on and off a certain section so at the moment this one here is going to turn on and off this section here which I can have set to my amps or to 11 standalone pedals so we're going to flick over to the pedals and show you those now um, so around here in brackets you've got listed all of the available pedals so I'll just zoom in on that a bit so you can see it and what you will see happens here is that pedal now just turns that section on and off Cool, um, so we'll have a quick flick through. I'm not going to play you a 10 minute solo on every sound. All I'm going to do is hit one chord like that, which is just a G power chord. Just to give you an idea of the different sounds. Which in reality, the camera is not going to give you a true indication of anyway. Cool, so there's 11 that you can pick from on there. Um, I'll look at the amps when we go over to program select mode. Um, for now we'll just carry on through the pedals here. So now down here, this one is labelled pedal 1, which is going to switch pedal 1 on and off. Cool, so on pedal 1, first of all, we have a compressor. Um, we have a Vox pedal. I'll play what that sounds like. Just flip that one off there. Cool, um, and then it comes around to tone. Uh, so tone is um, basically the same as the tone knob on your guitar. Uh, the energizer is quite cool. Um, so it just kind of adds quite a bit of body to the guitar, which is quite cool. Okay, um, so the next section there, turn pedal 1 off, and pedal 2 over here, so we've got another selection of pedals here. We've got an edit knob there, um, generally for most of these effects that changes the level of uh, this effect here. So I'll just have a quick run, like we did before. So that one uh, is actually acoustic. Cool. Um, so obviously there's a whole lot of other settings to set along with these. It's all um, just giving you a basic idea. Cool, um, so there's a bunch of different sounds here that you can use in conjunction with everything else. Um, next one there, modulation. Move it so you can see it. Cool, again we've got an edit knob. Um, this time we've got an extra option. We've got a tap tempo there. We can also hold that down and move the knob at the same time for what's called a second edit. Um, so what that actually edits will vary depending on the particular sound it's on. Uh, so this one is actually a talk mod, uh, which is quite fun to play with. So I'm just playing single notes on these ones so you can hear them. Bit clearer. 
So you got uh, different tremolos and stuff there. section along here is delay Ooh. rough movement um, delay so you've got a tap tempo there um, you can set tape echo um, digital delay um, or analog delay and then um, again if you hold the tap tempo button will Shifting the knob, you will adjust the feedback. Um, so we'll just. That's quite slow, obviously. And then um, holding down the tap button, I can change. Goes haywire. Cool. Um, so that was with the um, feedback cranked right up. Uh, cool. Cool. Okay. Um, and the last pedal there now is going to turn the reverb section on and off, uh, which is further up here. So um, we've got different types of reverb there. Uh, we've got a spring reverb, a uh, room reverb, and a hall reverb uh, with varied amounts as you come around before you switch over into the next one. Cool. Um, so like I said, that's just like having individual stomp boxes that you can switch on and off as you please um, as many on or off at any time that you like cool um, so the other mode the program select mode will um, take a look at now so there are some preset programs in here okay um, so again if we hold down the up and down on the bank we'll switch back to program select mode and you'll see that we've come to a number here so from bank 25 through to bank 50 are all preset samples so you can't change those um, there is a hundred of them so I am not going to play through all of those um, I will just find the list so here is um, a page in the manual it's probably not cameras not going to focus on it um, but anyway, it's just a list of what all those preset sounds are. So um, just to give you some examples, uh, Back in Black, Always on the Run, Alive, Basket Case, Beat It, Best of You, Born to Run, Bullet with Butterfly Wings, Creep, um, Freebird, Heartbreak Hotel, I Ain't Superstitious, Know Your Enemy, Message in a Bottle, Paranoid, Pride and Joy, um, satisfaction, Smells Like Teen Spirit, Smoke on the Water, Song 2, Soldans of Swing, Sweet Child of Mine, uh, Walk This Way, Wonderwall. Um, so there's just some examples pulled out of there. Uh, it would be really helpful if you're in a cover band and you're covering those particular songs, um, but the sounds tend to be mostly quite particular to the actual song, um, so you don't use a lot of them. Um, but it is a good place to start if you're setting up your own sounds, just to flick through all of them, um, write down the ones you like, um, and then you can make your own adjustments to them. Okay, so Banks 1, 2, 24 uh, for you to play with. Okay, so that's where you save all of your own sounds, which we will look at now. We'll just start at the beginning. Cool, so what I do is I have um, banks one and two 
um, it, I keep them free so I have all my saved sounds in other banks further up the numbers and then when it comes to a day when I'm playing I can select out the sounds I want for each song and then I can put them in banks sorry it's actually banks one to four um, so I've got all that space to fit in all my songs for the day and then I can just slot through them as I go um, through the set list uh, which is really handy which is partly why I went to this type of pedal because it takes a lot of complication out of things um, so again you have the 11 standalone pedals available to you as well as all the other sections we just looked at um, but we will look now at the amp section sorry um, I had the key lock on cool um, so there, there is a feature on this um, we'll have a quick look at it over here. Um, so this button here, exit tune, uh, what is it, exit tune something, can't read it from here, but if you hold that down you'll see that says on, that actually locks the keys um, so that nothing can get disturbed from your preset sound. Um, so I'll turn that off again so that we can adjust things. Unexpected side note there. Cool, so um, back to our amp. So we start with an amp head, um, and again in your manual, which you can download, um, you've got all these amps that you probably still won't focus on. Um, but this is a list of all the amps that um, the pedal is emulating, um, and they're based on real amps and it gives you a little spiel about each one in there. Um, again, you can download that. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start here. Um, and you've got three settings on each one. So green is standard. Orange is special. And red is custom. So on each one of these, you get three different settings. So that's how you get 33 amp heads. Cool, I'm not going to go through all of those right now because that's going to take a long time. Um, and to be honest with these sorts of videos, sounds I like and sounds you like probably aren't the same sounds anyway. Um, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so normally what I do first is I select my amp head and then I come to cabinet select. So these along here are your, um, your amp settings. But if you hold down the gain switch there and that light will start to flash and then you get these other settings down here. Okay, so the first one there is cabinet select. So you're selecting the cabinet that you're putting with that amp head. So if I turn that now, you'll see the dial change. And see that little dot there? When you see the dot next to the number as it goes past, Find it again there. Um, that is telling you what it is preset to. Uh, so if you ever lose your place, you can find your way back to where it was preset. Um, but if any time, if at any time you change off the sound um, and then back to it without saving it, it's going to revert to what it was doing before anyway, which is a um, nice quick way just to wipe what you're doing if you're not happy with it. Cool. So. Um, Again, in the book, it tells you what each one is. If we go right around, that's number 11, uh, which is a 4x12 cabinet. Okay, so after uh, our um, cabinet select here, uh, we've got presence next. Okay, um, and then noise reduction. That's really handy if you are playing um, somewhere where you're picking up a bit of interference through the guitar. Then you've got an EQ high, an EQ low. Um, and it'll come out a bit so you can see the rest. Um, and then you've got a trim, is that last one there. Cool, so um, those are kind of like the shift settings when you have this flashing. If you have that solid, then you um, up to these main ones up here, which is gain, treble, middle, bass, reverb section that we looked at before, and a volume control. Um, cool, so they're, they're all sort of your normal 
amp settings that you'll get on any decent amp um, which uh, is great I mean you can make you've got all these options of different kinds of amps mixed with different kinds of cabinets and then um, you've got all the controls to make it sound pretty much however you want and then you can use any of the pedals in conjunction with that as well um, so the volume um, you also have an expression pedal over here um, I'll come out a bit again so you can actually assign um, different things to the expression pedal I generally use it as a volume pedal um, and the way to assign stuff to it is simply to move whatever you want to assign so move the volume knob and then this one here expression assign and that will assign volume to the pedal okay um, so I don't know what this is going to sound like where it's set at the moment but we will find out cool um, so see this knob is um, right up because we've got noise reduction right up um, but that's not actually where my middle is so if I come back through and find the dot that shows me where my middle is actually set to and then I can adjust it from there cool um, so again I mean you know you set sounds how you like them but um, so say I want to save the sound now down here I have my right key all I do is I go right um, and then I select where I want to save it so if I want to save it there that's fine um, so I want to save it to bank 2 number 3 then I select that and then hit right again so it's really easy to go through and save your sounds um, to move them around it's just hit right find where you want to put it and hit right again and then it's saved in there um, so the other thing to look at on this is the tuner so um, I mean that was one of the things I was really looking for in a video some explanation around the tuner because the thing I always want to know is can you tune silently um, which you can with this um, so I'll show you a couple of ways of doing it so I just want to get it so you can see the screen as well so if I hold this down for one second and see the two lines come up in the middle of the screen there and you'll see the lights along the bottom while the screen shows the note that we're tuning to cool so when you do it that way it means you can still hear it so it's, um, it's like a bypass okay um, so the way to get out of it you can just hit any any one of these to get in you have to press on the one that is on the sound you're using um, which is a good idea because it means if you were changing sounds and you held your foot down for a bit too long you're not going to jump into a tuner it, it's only by doing it on the sound that you're on that you get in there um, but then when you come back out you don't have to remember which sound you're on you just hit any of them and it'll jump back to the sound that you're on cool if you hold it down for two seconds see that's jumped down to the bottom now and that means that I'm now doing it silently cool um, and that's that's really you really want that um, when you're playing live because people don't want to hear your tune um, so yeah that's that's a really cool um, feature the um, the other thing with the expression pedal there is you can set um, more in-depth stuff on it sensitivity and that sort of thing you can set your minimum and maximum 
parameters and that sort of thing uh, which in terms of volume I just have set where the volume is and off basically um, but that I mean that's getting more complicated just go through the manual for that sort of thing um, so there's the two types of tuner on here so um, it goes into into the chromatic um, tuner there there is also a strobe tuner if I get the right key so that's the other way to get in is using the button there just gonna find there we go so that goes into a strobe tuner um, if you like strobe tuners, I don't really like them myself, they look cool, but they're, um, I find them annoying to use. Uh, so that was by going into the tuner and then just hitting the expression assign key there. And then if I hit that again, and it, now it says no. So it goes back to a normal tuner. Cool, um, and I think that's about it. So, I mean, like I say, you can set up um, sound however you want combination of pedals, amps uh, anything like that so I'll have a quick look um, at something I've saved Um, so, sounds that I say are basically around a particular song, so I listen to what the guitar sounds like in that song, and then I I get the, I set up the sound so it sounds just like that, so when I come to play that song, um, I've got the exact sound I want. Cool, um, so I mean it's, yeah, again personal preference, um, and all I do is I have a book um, where I write down where I've saved all the songs so that I don't forget, um, and then when I come to do that song again I know where to find the sound that I've set for it, um, so I'll find you a preset, I'll just do one of them, uh, so you can... Hear what it sounds like. I'll do the uh, song that everybody will know. 35.3. So this should be King Spirit. Uh, I'll just remember how to play it quickly. Um, so that just gives you an idea of um, what those presets are like. Just pulling one song out of there. Cool, so I hope this has been helpful and given you a good overview of everything you can do. There is heaps you can do with this thing. Um, and hopefully I've managed to show that it's not hugely complicated either to go through and um, select the things that you want. Um, it, it is just a bit of playing with it to get the sounds sounding the way you want um but hey that's half the fun right